Hey everyone, it's Kay Short here and welcome to Short Talk Sunday. Today I'm talking about relationships, more so gay, straight, queer relationships. But honestly, who gives a crap because none of that really matters because relationships are relationships no matter what, they're all the same. It's with another human being, depending on how you identify and maybe with more other human beings. But it's all the same, love and lack of love and all the confusion that comes with it. So I'm making this video for Melissa. So I just want to say that I'm not an expert on relationships. This is the furthest thing of expertise that I have. And I know for me, this is the one aspect of my life that I've always struggled with. But relationships has just always, just always been one of those things where it's like, I don't think any of us will ever figure it out. I'm sure I'm not the only one that struggles with this part of our lives. I do have some experiences with people I've dated and the experiences I've had. I mean, I've dated gay girls, I've dated straight girls, I've dated half black girls, I've dated white girls, I've dated another Filipino girl, I've dated mostly Latinas. I grew up in a highly populated Spanish-speaking place. Those were my choices when I was in high school. But when I came to college, that wasn't my choice at all. And I've also had my fair share of boy experiences also when I was in high school. So you could say I've, I know a little bit of something, right? You'd think I'd know something about relationships. But all I can tell you all is that we make it a lot more confusing than it needs to be. It's just, we make it so much confusing with technology and his and hers and, and gender and wanting to be single and people getting married and people having babies and, and we just make it so much more confusing than it needs to be. I think at the end of the day, everyone just wants to be loved, everyone wants to be accepted, and everyone wants to feel connected. And also, with that said, with everyone else being in relationships and all of us being lonely and all of us being disconnected because of technology and social media and all these things, I think at the end of the day, not everyone is doing it. I don't care if it's sex, if it seems like everyone's in a relationship, if it seems like everyone's getting married, if it seems like everybody's moving in together, if it seems like nobody's moving in with each other, it seems like nobody's getting married, I don't know. But I know a lot of times our peers, or my peers at least, are like, oh my gosh, like, I'm late for the train, and I'm the only one who's not in a relationship yet, or I'm the only one who isn't getting married, I'm the only one. There's millions and billions of other people besides the little town that we're in, as of right now, Flagstaff, and a bigger town where other people are going to be doing so many different things and I just think it's come down to the point where it's like we just have to do us we just have to do what's best for us it's like date whoever you want date as many as you want date as many people as you want there's there's no right way date, don't date anyone just love yourself I think that's a big thing that my peers and myself are going through it's just like we should just like love ourselves because we depend so much on others this is confusing and i don't think there's one right way it's because it's one of those topics that's just so there's so much that comes with it but there's no right answer there is no right answer and there's no right way whatsoever is that i know for myself I was raised by MTV and so MTV taught me that the people I'm attracted to look freaking amazing because I'm looking at NSYNC and Backstreet Boys and Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera and all these people. Like, if I were to meet Christina, I might faint. I know that all of us have this constructed idea in our head that our partner should be this amazing and awesome, beautiful, intelligent, tall, dark, and handsome, short, 36, 36, I don't know all these numbers that we're, su we're supposed to, you know, live up to that stinking standard that is impossible, once again, is also another impossible thing. But one thing I have figured out for myself is that I know how, when I was younger, and even younger as of last year, I was asking for too much. My, my criteria for dating somebody was educated, can hold a conversation, cute, passionate, or ambitious. But one thing I have figured out is that I think we do ask for too much. We want them to be all these things because of Disney and the Disney princesses and the fairy tales that they have clearly laid out for us that they're gonna come sweep us upon our feet. And even though we're educated and we recognize that this isn't gonna happen, we still really strive for this. And it's really silly, actually. We still really strive for somebody to rescue us from the top of the tower. For all you know, it could be someone of the same gender and you don't even know. It. Anyways, I know for myself, I have dated very, very, very good people. So everyone I've ever dated, I don't regret any of you. I think all of you were great experiences. I have learned a lot from all of you. And uh, since I've gotten older, I've realized instead of asking for too much, all I can really ask for is someone that's loyal, someone that's honest, someone that's respectful. I think nowadays that's really hard to find. I think 
a lot of us are trying to strive to be other things. And so when we have someone that comes into our lives who is loyal, honest, respectful, you know, just the, the basics of a good human being, I think that's already hard enough to find and that we shouldn't let that slip away. I'm not saying settle, but I'm just saying to kind of give that more attention because yeah, that person that we're looking at may be cuter, may have more money, may have whatever the case, but to find a loyal person that isn't going to cheat on us, I think that's a huge thing. To find someone who's honest with us 100% of the time telling us, hey, this is how I feel, this is what's going on, this is how things are going, etc. Like that's really important too, that they could be honest with us. And, and three, being really respectful, being with someone that just respects us respects us for who we are, what we do, and where we came from, from our past and our present and what we want to do in the future, just respecting us as a human being, as an individual. And I think for the last thing, to not try and change them. I know for myself, I've struggled with that one because I'm naturally like a mentor and I'm naturally like wanting to inspire people and wanting to influence people and why that's just, that's just the kind of person I am. It's hard for me to not want to be like, hey, why don't you nudge, nudge, go try this? Like, that's really tough for me. The biggest one I've had to learn is to not try and change them. Realize that if that person has those, then I can't ask for much more. If I ask for them to look like this and to be this size and to study this and to listen to this kind of music, like, I'm asking for too much now. That's just me though. And because I've had the experience of asking for too much, and always being disappointed because we have those expectations. Anytime we have an expectation, we're going to be disappointed regardless whether they exceed those expectations or fall below the expectations. Finding an honest, loyal, respectful person is very difficult to find nowadays. And so if we find it, pay attention to it. And like I said, to not try and change them, to not try and change me. There's so much history and so much experiences that fall behind our story that we don't realize that have made us who we are today that's all i got for relationships like i said i'm not an expert at it i've had my experiences you're gonna have your experiences everyone's experiences are different everyone's doing something different at the end of the day do your own thing and if you find someone that's great and amazing and loyal honest respectful and you don't try to change them and they don't try to change you i think we're already we have a we have a lot to do here we have a lot to work with here this is k short this is Short Talk Sunday. You all got to know me a little bit more than you expected by seeing my pajamas and my apartment. I've talked longer than I wanted to as always. <sighs> It'll get better, I promise. I appreciate you if you share this video. I appreciate all of you, I love all of you. Thank you for watching. This is K Short. This is Short Talk Sunday. Tune in next Sunday. Mister, stop sneezing. Did I say that? Something sounds like it's dripping. Give me a second. That sounds weird. Oh, it really is. It really. Oh, okay. 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 Okay.